Good morning students. I hope you all done the activity, right? If you have done the activity, you can take a snap and you can send it to our school WhatsApp number. So let's enter into the class. So in the last class, we have learned about the living things that need uh, food, water, sunlight, warmth, air, right? So in this class, we are going to discuss some other categories of the uh, living thing. The first one that is living things move. In this picture, you can see the zebras are moving, right? So they are moving to escape from the enemies. In this picture, you can see the hare that is in search of food. Here, the cow is drinking the water. You can see the cheetah is running to get the prey. So what you understand from this is the living things that move from one place to another for taking, for in search of food, for drinking water and to escape from the enemies. So these are all the three things that living things move from one place to another. Let's see about the insects. How the insects are moving? You can see in this picture the insects have six legs and it has two wings. So with the help of the wings and it with the help of the legs it is moving from one place to another. You can see the beetle here. You can see the six legs and the two wings. And same applies for the butterfly. Now let's see about the birds. How the birds move? The birds that move with the help of the wings and with the help of the two legs. See how the birds are moving? Let's see about the water birds. Water birds have the special legs that is called webbed feet. With the help of the webbed feet, they can move from one place to another. They can swim in the water. That is the main speciality of the water birds. So they can, you can see in this picture, the duckling, you can see the legs here. It is a webbed feet, right? So the webbed feet helps to move, uh, which helps to swim in the water from one place to another. Next we are going to see about the flightless bird. Flightless birds means they cannot move with their wings from one place to another. Instead they have strong legs. So with the help of that legs they can run and they can walk. Let's see about the penguin. The penguins also have the strong feet. So it can move and it can run fast. Next we are going to see about the kiwis. Kiwis are the uh, birds that cannot fly. Next category is about fish. You can see the fish have a colorful fins, right? With the help of the fins, they are moving from one place to another. See, there are so many fins on it. With the help of the fins, they are moving from one place to another. How about the snakes? Do they have limbs? No, but they are moving with their body from one place to another. They are sliding. Next, we are going to see about the mammals. What is meant by mammals? Mammals, the mammals are the animals. They give birth to the young ones. And their speciality is they have hair on their body. And they have four limbs. With the help of the four limbs, they are moving from one place to another. Same applies for the tiger. And even for the elephant. There are some swimming mammals. For example, dolphin. They can swim in the water and still it is categorized as a mammal. And same for the otter. This is the otter animal. It can swim. Same for the seals. It have uh, hair on the body. It, can, it is a mammal and it can swim in the water. The next category is about the plants. Uh, do the plants move from one place to another? No, but it can move their body parts. For example, in this picture, you can see the touch me not plant. If you touch the leaves of the plant, what happens? It closes the leaves. The next one is sunflower. This sunflower, it always faces the direction of the sun. The next char characteristic of a living thing is the living thing need a suitable place to live. For example, the penguins. Uh, anyone see the penguins in our area? No, we cannot see, right? Because the penguins, they live in the colder regions. 
and same the cam camels they all live in the desert areas and the elephants they live in the open grassland areas how about the hare and the rabbits they live in the burrows the next category is the trees so you can see the coconut tree and the neem tree they, they grow in the warmer regions this is an apple tree they grow in the colder regions you can see the pine trees they also grow in the colder regions the next characteristic of a living thing is the living things they grow for example we humans are living things right we are born as an infant and we grow in a particular level and a growth stops you can see the horse and the pony first it born as a pony and it become a horse so the living things has a growth for next we are going to see about the plants what the plants do they always grow throughout their life they are growing so let's do an activity that is find out the 10 different habitat that the animals live okay hope you all understood this lesson in this lesson we have learned some of the characteristics of a living thing so see you all in the next class take care bye